Hey guys, it is me. Uh, you may notice that I am in a little bit of a different place and that is because Michaela and I have actually separated. We no longer live together. Separated sounds like divorce. We didn't get divorced. We just no longer live together. Um, throughout our videos of the past while, you may have guessed that there were some things going on in the house that we were living in. They weren't our fault, uh, but they were happening and they needed to not happen so that the both of us could have a life. Um, we were asked to move out by a certain date by our landlady and I made the decision to move closer to school because I will be going back to school in the fall at Simmons College out here in Western Mass for two degrees, one in uh, children's literature and one in library science. So I'll be getting two masters on top of my two bachelors. Uh, nerd. But anyways, you did not come here to hear about my life. You came here to listen to me talk about Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher. This is a book that I was so excited to get my hands on. It is billed as Carrie Fisher writing about her time filming the first Star Wars movie before she knew it was going to be a hit, before all the crazy fame things happened and everything, and it just... Oh, I was so excited. When the book came into the Barnes & Noble that I work at, it sold out so fast. So fast. And I knew that I wanted to hear Carrie Fisher read it because the audiobook was completed before she died and it uses her voice but also the voice of her daughter Billy Lord to voice her diary entries because on the back it talked about how she was inspired to write this because she had just found the diaries that she had kept while filming Star Wars. I was so excited about all this. I am a nerd. I am a geek. I love Star Wars, Star Trek. Oh man, Stargate. Anyone? Stargate? Um, anyways. <laughs> I love Princess Leia. She is one of my heroes, and Carrie Fisher herself is one of my heroes. I knew that she had written a lot of books, but I hadn't actually read any of them, so I requested the audiobook from the Boston Public Library forever ago. Um, and it took me months to wait down that waiting list and get a hold of it. And then I got it and I listened to it in like three days because it was really fast. Um, but the thing is that the book was actually really disappointing. I did not expect the book to go like it did at all. And it's really sad because let me put this out there. that Carrie Fisher had a way with words. The Her ability to turn a phrase is beautiful. She knows how to make words sound beautiful together. She knows how to make you laugh. Uh, she knows how to describe things. But the thing about Princess Diaries is that it actually had no plot and by the end of it I wasn't sure what I was supposed to take away from it. The diaries that we are, you know, told exist and are kind of part of the title really only show up in the middle which is where the book spends its largest focus is in this middle section called Carison, where Carrie reveals that her and Harrison Ford had an affair on the first Star Wars movie set. Um, which, I mean, cool, I guess. Um, I guess. I didn't really come to hear about that. I wanted to hear about the filming and working with George Lucas and how it felt to be a part of that. Um, but really, Carrie honestly says at one point that like she doesn't remember filming a lot of the first Star Wars and the only diary entries that are read to us are how she feels about having this affair with Harrison and how it kind of screws her up and what it makes her feel about herself which I mean is all valid and well and good but like um I didn't care particularly after it kind of gone on for like an hour or two in the audiobook. It's a, not a thick book, it's not a long audiobook. And to have so much of it caught up in this thing that happened with Harrison Ford just got boring after a while. And the diaries, which I thought would be like a huge focal point of the book, going back and forth between the past and the present, like none of that really happened. The diaries were just read by Billy in the middle section of the book and then promptly forgotten. Um, she does talk very briefly about the latest Star Wars movie, which was cool, but very, very briefly. She talked about, you know, trying to live her life after Star Wars very briefly, which was interesting, but the book felt like it had no focal point. Um, 
and no real message and that you know she really didn't know what she was trying to say um what she did say she said beautifully but other than that really wasn't much to it and it hurts me to say this because i do love carrie fisher like i said i love star wars but if you're expecting some kind of behind the scenes look to the filming of a new hope unless you really care about the crazy psychological twists that her affair with harrison ford left her with um there's not really much in this book for you i finished it because i thought that maybe it would get better eventually it didn't even finishing this super short audiobook felt like a slog um because i just wasn't sure what i was supposed to be getting out of it so that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes i do really want to read some of her other books i think some of the other ones about mental health and her struggles with mental health will probably have a much stronger message and a much stronger idea behind them um and with her ability to write i'm sure that they're wonderful but if you know you wanted to buy princess diarist buy the paperback otherwise you know get it from the library and make sure that it's actually something that you want to purchase because it will not be what you expected sorry guys um i'll be back next week hopefully i've got internet in my apartment for the first time today after living here for a week so i'm finally getting back my access to the world so that means you guys too, so I'll see you soon. Bye!